Hey makers and welcome to another video. If you are new to the channel, my name is Haytham, I am from Tunisia and here we do the our projects and tutorial where I share my knowledge about 3D printing, electronics and programming. Plus I'm gonna share some of my knowledge on CNC machine when I build my CNC machine which supposedly it's gonna start next week. So if you wanna see how I build my DIY PCB acrylic hopefully aluminium milling PCB machine make sure to subscribe to the channel so um, you don't miss any upcoming videos now the reason why I'm making this video is I had to use a very powerful power supply for my DIY bench power supply since my old one just broke and after searching on it locally it turns out that if I want something around the line of 12 volts 9 amps I would have to spend a lot of money to get it now I remember my 3d printing has something close to this characteristics is actually 12 volt 8.5 amps so I thought about it I mean this, this 3d printer does not include a heated bed so supposedly I don't think it consumed that much uh, current when I started building this machine I was like okay a stepper, a stepper motor will consume 1.7 amps you know I multiply that by 5 since it contains 5 stepper motors I'm gonna add 3 amps for the heater it's 12, 12 volt heaters and I'm gonna add, I'm gonna, you know, have something around the line of uh, 9 amps. But turns out that math is wrong. And I knew that when I uh, included my TMC drivers, so when you are working with TMC, you can actually set the current manually. And I set the current to 600 milliamps and 800 milliamps. I was thinking, okay, this is way less than the 1.7 amps that I made my calculation with. So, how much exactly? does this thing consumes. Uh, today we're gonna find out how much it consumes and we're gonna change this power supply. Now some people will say why are we changing the power supply? Well um, let's forget uh, the part that I need this for a project. You see this thing is big. It's bulky, it's ugly, it's heavy and it's pricey. Now if you are on a budget and you want to make you know a uh, decent 3D printing and you don't want to spend as much money as possible you can use ATX, which is uh, the power supply of a computer, actually had a problem with these, but I think I I found the solution for it. I'm gonna make a video on it, um, you know, soon. Or you can use just a smaller one, as you can see in this clip. It's actually way too smaller, and it's the one that I inserted here. Now note that this calculation is not based on a heated bed 3D printing. When you are working with a heated bed, you just need to find out how much. Uh, current and consumes and add to the base that you're gonna see here because typically any 3D printing uh, that is in a normal configuration would have five stepper motors, uh, generally a NEMA 17 and a 12 volt uh, heater. Now if you are having a 24 volt you know, system, all you have to do is just divide the current by two. I mean, this is the reason why people choose 24 volts instead of 12 because you need half the amount of current. I mean, theoretically, you are consuming the same amount of power, it's just you're consuming less current because you have higher voltage. So the calculation that we're gonna do here, you just divide it by two if you have a 24 system. And if you have 12 volt system, then you're in luck. You don't have to you know, waste any of your brain cells for stupid maths. Okay, so um, I'm gonna hook my multimeter, which is this one right here in series. With my 3D printer, we're gonna have a test when we see it when it's idle, when it's working, when it's printing, how much current it consumes, and we're gonna change this big beefy power supply to something smaller so I can use this in another project. And hopefully you can you know reduce the cost of your 3D printing. So let's get into it. Now this is my setup, nothing is fancy. I have five NEMA 17 separate motors, I have 13 watt 12 volt heating cartridge that is responsible for heating the hot end. I have two fans. I'm connecting my power supply to my printer using these connectors because I've been testing different kinds of ATX power supplies. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove one of the wires and connect my multimeters in series. I'm gonna put it on the amps mode, 10 amps mode, and we are going to have a look at how much amps my 3D printing is consuming in different states.
Now let's turn on the 3D printing. As you can tell, when we turn it on, it starts consuming around 400 milliamps, then it settles around 370 milliamps. Now this might differ a little bit from you because I'm using a lot of fans, so probably your 3D printing is consuming way less than this. Now the only thing that is working right now are the two fans, the fans of the extruder, the fans for the TMC drivers, and for the SKR, which is my the motherboard for the printer, and the LCD which is this big LCD right here nothing fancy it's an idle so let's try to heat the extruder so we go to the menu the temperature and let's heat it to 180 degrees and as we can see right here is actually now drawing 3.8 amps and it's actually going to be stabilizing soon so it is 3.7, I'm going to let it rest a little bit, I'm going to see how much it's going to draw. You can see right now the printer is drawing around 1 to 1 1.5 amps because we actually reached the desired temperature so the PID controller will actually shut down the current uh, going to the heater and when it actually drops the temperature it's actually going to draw more current to heat it up and because it's not that far from the desired temperature it's not going to draw as much current as when it was really cold so now i'm gonna test it i'm gonna test a small uh, print and we're gonna see how much current it's going to draw so i'm gonna remove this and we go to the menu print from media and we're gonna print something it is now drawing 3.7 amps because the temperature that I set it to is 200 and not 180 so it is drawing more current and when it reach close to that temperature it's going to decrease the current this is the PID controller doing its job so Okay, that was not, okay, nothing bad really happened. Okay, so it is actually printing and now we are consuming around 2.5 amps of current. I shut it because my bed is not leveled because I had to uh, tweak it and tune it a little bit yesterday. So the bed is not leveled. Hey makers, uh, we have a small problem. I'm not sure if it's a small or big, depending on your point of view, but the printer stopped working in a way, so uh, in my opinion, this is a small problem because nothing cannot be fixed. Now here's, here's the problem. You see, the power supply was getting hot. When it got hot, the components inside of it uh, will, you know, start jumping around. I mean, not literally, but they will do weird stuff. And they will, they, when they would do weird stuff, they will start providing the necessary current uh, to my 3D printing. So the, the printer thought that something was wrong with the heater. So it shut itself down, you know, to protect you from a hazard and potentially burning your house uh, to ashes, which is something pretty cool uh, with money. So thank you for that. Now, the way I fix this is by adding a fan. Now, if you are using something small, power supply, small power supply, Make sure either it has a big heat sink on the transistors or just, you know, buy a smaller fan than this. Now, probably one of these, which is a 60 by 60 fan, should, uh, should be more than enough. But because I don't have one, I only have this one laying around that works with 12 volt. I just, you know, new connector and hook it up and everything is working. I mean, it's not that loud. As you can see, but very small, small, uh, you know, noises, but it's not, it's not a problem. Now, 
this concludes our video. So if you are planning to, you know, get a small power supply, get a small fan. I mean, to be honest, the cost of the fan and the power supply will be less than the cost of the power supply that is providing a lot of current and it's smaller. So uh, that's the win for me and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this way of, you know, correcting the video uh, is not that bad. I mean, filming is hard. I mean, you have to try it yourself to, to know how hard it is. So I hope you like this video and I hope I don't look like a fool. And I hope my neighbors that are seeing me from street don't think I'm a fool for talking to the camera. They're probably not seeing the camera. They're probably seeing a guy talking to himself uh, after quarantine, which is probably bad. Okay, so see you, stay safe, and I will see you in the next project. Peace.